in this video we're going to take a look at rearranging harder formulae. So for GCSE maths we also need to be able to rearrange harder formulae. What do we mean by harder formulae here? Well generally speaking what we mean here is an equation that's given where the variable that we're looking to rearrange for is given more than once. So what I'd say here is before you attempt this video and the worksheet on this topic I would ensure that you are confident with rearranging formulae from the foundation part of GCSE maths. Okay. If you're confident with that, you will find this chapter, this topic, a lot easier. So like I said, just ensure that you're confident with that as a topic. So other than that, that's everything that we need here to get started. Let's have a look at some practice questions here for rearranging how to formulae. So we start off here with question one, we're asked to make A the subject of the formula of 3A minus B equals AB plus 4. So let's just start here by writing down the equation. So we've got 3A minus B is equal to AB plus 4. Now we're making A the subject here. What I need to do here is get anything that involves A on one side of the equation and then everything else on the other side. So I've got 3A here on the left hand side, I've got AB on the right hand side. But what I'm going to do here is take this AB on the right hand side onto the other side. Okay. And the way that I'm going to do that here would be to subtract AB off both sides. So minus AB off both sides. On the left hand side here we'll get 3A. Minus AB minus B. And that will be equal to 4. Okay. So on the left hand side now we want to get rid of this minus B here. We just want this in terms of A here. Um, eventually anyway. So what we're going to do here is get rid of this minus B. And the way that we do that is do the opposite here. We're going to add B to both sides. So add B to both sides here. In that case then on the left hand side now we're going to get 3A minus AB. And then on the right hand side here we're going to get B plus 4. Okay so B plus 4. So from here now we're pretty much done here. Um, what I want to do now is factor the A out here. Okay we're looking to make A the subject. If we factor the A out here, we're going to get A lots of 3 minus B. And that's going to be equal to B plus 4. And then finally here, we want to make A the subject. We just need to divide here by this 3 minus B. Okay. And in that case, then on the left hand side, we'll simply get A. So therefore, A is going to be equal to B plus 4 divided by 3 minus B. B plus 4 divided by 3 minus B there. Okay, and there we have it. So that's the solution there to question 1. And if we take a look at the last question now here, we're asked to make x a subject of y equals x plus 4 over x minus 3. So to begin with here, let's just write down the equation. So y is equal to x plus 4 all over x minus 3. So we're asked to make x a subject here. So to begin with, I want to get rid of this fraction here on the right hand side. And to do that, what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply through by the denominator here on both sides. So on the left hand side here, we'll get y lots of x minus 3. And on the right hand side here, we'd simply get left with the numerator here of x plus 4. Okay. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to expand this bracket on the left hand side. What we're going to get here is xy minus 3y and that will be equal to x plus 4. When we get to this line here what we've basically got now is a problem that looks like the previous question. So what we need to do now is basically collect any x's on one side and then everything else on the opposite side of the equation. So we've got xy here on the left hand side. On the right hand side here we've got this x on its own. So what I'm going to do then is get rid of this x here on the right hand side. We're going to take that over to the left hand side. And to do that here what we're going to do is we're going to subtract x off both sides. So minus x off both sides. On the left hand side here we're going to get xy. Minus x. Minus 3y. And that will be equal to 4. Okay. So 
The issue here now with the left hand side is we've got this minus 3y here, so we need to get rid of that. And to do that here, what we're going to do is we're going to add 3y to both sides. Okay. So add 3y to both sides. So on the left hand side here, now what we'll get is xy minus x. That's the left hand side. And now for the right hand side here, we'll get 3y plus 4. So 3y plus 4. And at this point here, now we're pretty much done. All we need to do is factor the x out here on the left hand side. So x lots of y minus 1 is equal to 3y plus 4. And then finally, if we're making x a subject here, we just need to divide by y minus 1. So x is equal to 3y plus 4. All divided here by y minus 1. Okay. And there we have it. So that's the solution there to question 2. And that brings us to the end of this video on rearranging harder formulae. In the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision for rearranging harder formulae.